2018 Subaru Impreza Review. Standard all-wheel drive with an affordable asking price make a compelling case to the 2018 Impreza. First off, in case you are in the market for a normal compact car together with the stable traction supplied by all-wheel drive, it is possible to end your search together with the 2018 Subaru Impreza. It's the only car in the class to present it. But you don't really need to live in a location with many rain or snow to understand the Impreza. Redesigned just a year ago, the current generation model's building and technology interface are vastly finer quality than its predecessors. Compared to other models with this class, the Impreza is often a standout because of its stellar handling, roomy cabin, available hatchback body style, and also a number of available advanced driver aids. Still, shortcomings using key areas might give PERS pause. The Impreza's most important drawback is its lackluster powertrain. Though 152 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque look healthy around the spec sheet, we found the Impreza is amongst the slowest cars rolling around in its class. Matters aren't helped through the car's continuously variable automatic transmission. It isn't quick to interact with driver inputs, and once it does finally rev the engine high enough for any speed burst, there is not enough power on tap to muster any meaningful acceleration. Constantly shoving the gas pedal only to keep up with traffic means the Impreza has a hard time meeting its fuel economy estimates in real life. If you'll be able to overlook the Impreza's engine and transmission deficiencies, though, you will discover a capable small car with lots of room, an appropriate ride and this enviable all-wheel drive system. Notably, we picked the 2018 Subaru Impreza as one of best AWD sedans because of this year. What's new? Automatic wipers at the moment are standard on premium, sport and limited models. Otherwise, the 2018 Impreza is unchanged. The hatchback isn't considerably more expensive as opposed to sedan, so we'd pick that one for the improved cargo capacity. We think the premium trim provides right balance of features for that price. Plus, this is the only trim with which you'll be able to order the safety-based eyesight package without it being bundled which has a sunroof. The Sport is the one other solid pick because it adds desirable options including keyless entry as well as a larger touch screen with satellite radio. Try it before you decide this one, though, since its sporty suspension tuning may affect ride comfort. Trim levels and features. Like many compacts, the 2018 Subaru Impreza is accessible as a sedan or possibly a four-door hatchback. Features about the four available trims are similar between both body styles. The base 2.0i is sparsely equipped, but it will have power windows along with a touch screen with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay capability. The premium counts alloy wheels and heated seats among its additions. Upgrade towards the Sport so you get larger wheels, sporty suspension tuning, keyless entry and ignition, and also a larger touch screen. The Limited keeps a number of the Sport's luxury features and adds leather and automatic climate control. Every Impreza is powered using a 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine that produces 152 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque. The related, high-performance WRX and WRX SDI are reviewed separately, a five-speed manual transmission is standard within the 2.0i and Sport models, plus a continuously variable automatic with wheel-mounted paddle shifters is optional on those and standard on premium and limited trims. The base 2.0i comes standard with 16-inch steel wheels, remote locking and unlocking, cloth upholstery, a rear-view camera, a tilt and telescoping tire, a motorist information display, a height-adjustable driver's seat, cruise control, a 60-40 split folding rear seat, Bluetooth, a 6.5-inch touchscreen, as well as a four-speaker audio system that has a USB port and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility. The premium trim is more preferable equipped, with alloy wheels, automatic headlights and wipers, heated mirrors, a windshield wiper deizer, a sound-reducing windshield, heated front seats, Subaru Starlink services plus a six-speaker speakers. The hatchback also adds roof rails plus a cargo cover. 
an available package combines blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, cornering lights and Subaru's eyesight suite of driver aids, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning with automatic braking, automatic reverse braking, and lane departure warning and mitigation. A power sunroof is accessible as a standalone option or bundle while using above package. For drivers who wish a more exciting version in the Impreza, there is the Sport. It comes with 18-inch alloy wheels, daytime running lights, a rear spoiler, unique suspension tuning, keyless entry and ignition, an 8-inch touchscreen, a leather-wrapped controls, unique interior and exterior trim, active torque vectoring for improved traction, a CD player, satellite radio and a couple of USB ports. A package with all the blind spot monitor and sunroof is usually available. Around the sport, it further adds an 8-speaker Harman Kardon premium speakers. This package is usually ordered with or without eyesight. At the top in the Impreza range, you have the limited model. It combines the premiums features together with the sport tech equipment, further adding 17-inch alloy wheels, adaptive LED headlights, leather upholstery, a six-way power driver seat and automatic climate control system. Eyesight, blind spot monitoring along with the sunroof are bundled into a package. It is usually ordered with or without the Harman Kardon system and navigation. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically will come in multiple versions which are fundamentally similar. The S on this review provide our full test from the 2017 Subaru Impreza Limited sedan. 2.0 liters flat 4, CVT automatic, AWD. Driving. Aside from poor acceleration as well as a CVT automatic that will not always do as we'd expect, the Impreza performs perfectly. Handling is well sorted, brakes are responsive and confidence inspiring, and also the steering is sporty and communicative. A solid showing to the most part. Acceleration. The Impreza seems peppy over line to begin with, but this enthusiasm is short-lived. In instrumented testing it took 9.4 seconds to accelerate to 60 miles per hour, one from the slowest times within the class. Passing maneuvers about the highway take more planning compared to what they should. Braking The Impreza's brakes feel good. You get good pedal pressure immediately, so that it is easy to modulate. Plus the brakes inspire confidence when the need to scrub off speed quickly. The Impreza stopped from 60 miles per hour and 121 feet in testing, a normal distance for that segment. Steering Steering is quick, responsive and customarily pretty sporty. For a car with this class, there are many steering feedback, especially within the sport and limited trims. Most pros are going to be happy together with the level of steering effort and good on center feel. Handling Handling is usually a strong point due to this Impreza, no matter what trim level. Body roll is well controlled, and also the car goes in places you want and you with a lot of confidence on the way. Standard all-wheel drive only increases its a sense of stability. Drivability the CVT engine combo rumbles at low speeds and winds at full throttle acceleration, neither is good. But the sticking point could be the occasional absence of response on a CVT. The transmission works more effectively when you use the paddle shifters, which really should not be the case. Comfort A relatively quiet and smooth ride helps to make the Impreza very easy to drive around the highway. The seats are comfy and well bolstered, even when they are a bit above the firm side for extra long car journeys. Seat Comfort The Impreza's front seats are well bolstered, providing good support and firm cushioning. If you're from the saddle for very long stints, they will often get slightly tiring for a few. The rear seats are relatively flat but comfortable enough. Ride Comfort Ride comfort is excellent with all the 17-inch wheels on our test car, and we'd suspect the 16-inch wheels will be, too. The suspension is compliant enough to shrug off big bumps without drama and without having to be overly soft and floaty. Noise and vibration 
wind noise is virtually non-existent for the highway, even at 80 miles per hour road noise is really a bit more pronounced, however, as well as the engine and CVT wind somewhat unpleasantly under full throttle. Our tester had no rattles or squeaks. Climate control. Our test car's optional automatic climate control is an easy task to operate over the three situated dials. A couple with the main air vents are right next towards the steering wheel, right in which you would grip, unfortunately cooling your fingers quicker compared to cabin. Interior. Though functionality is definitely a strong point, the 2017 Impress's interior represented a huge leap forward for Subaru. Thanks to some spacious cabin, large windows and thoughtfully spelled out controls, the Impressa is amongst the more ergonomically friendly options inside the segment. Ease beneficial. The radio controls, touch screen interface and climate control knobs are generally an easy task to watch and utilize, and also the secondary top screen is surprisingly useful. Large fonts, dire resolution screens and easy button structures ease the educational curve dramatically. Getting in, getting out. The seats are mounted high enough that sliding inside and out won't be a challenge for most average height adults. The roof line, while lower versus the outgoing Impruzas, is high and supplies ample head clearance. Overall, entry and exit are effortless. Driving position. The tilt and telescoping tire allows for the lot of adjustment plus the driver's seat offers six-way adjustment so there's an abundance of range for those types of drivers to discover a good fit. Roaminess This Impreza is larger than ever before, plus it shows. The cabin is on headroom, with numerous legroom within the front and also a decent volume of room inside the back. Those over 6 feet will find the back seat slightly cosy, but that is common because of this class. Visibility Visibility is extremely good out with the front thanks to an enormous windshield, small front pillars and small sectional windows near to the windshield. A big rear window into the sedan plus the hatchback lead to great rear visibility too. Quality While the within of this redesigned Impreza is usually a big improvement, still it isn't quite the course leader, especially the lower trim levels. Our top shelf limited trim test car closes the gap a tad and has nice soft touch surfaces to your elbows to nap on. Utility Between the two main available Impreza bodies, we'd recommend the hatchback. The sedan we tested has limited trunk space, but child seat accommodation is extremely good. Small item storage Small item storage is decent but pales when compared with class leaders for example the Honda Civic. The center storage console and door pockets aren't as deep or long as we want. There are several cup holders though, all effective at accommodating a typical water bottle or soda can. Cargo space. Access on the trunk is really a lot wider in 2010, 4 inches wider around the hatchback, 5 inches wider using the sedan, though the trunk still only offers 12.4 cubic feet of storage. That's smaller than inside Mazda 3, Honda Civic and Nissan Sentra. If you want a utilitarian Impreza, go for your hatch. Child safety seat accommodation. Car seat accommodation is really as excellent as it ever was. There's quick access to rear seat latches through Velcro straps, high R3 anchor points behind the corner seats. There's lots of space for the big rear facing seat too especially since the inside is even roomier than before. Technology Tech is really a lot improved inside newest Impreza, that has a redesigned touch screen as well as the addition of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Our test car had some issues with all the touch screen, however, if it is functioning correctly it has a vastly improved experience within the old system. Audio and Navigation Laid out just like a smartphone home screen, the Limited's 8-inch touch screen is familiar, an easy task to see and understand, and alert to touch inputs. The navigation command structure is easy and finding points of interest is simple. But the stereo's speaker quality and max volume could possibly be better. 
Smartphone integration. Device integration might sound adequate in writing, but we've had some issues in testing. Bluetooth connects with the music source quickly, nevertheless the system has frozen upon us more than once. When working, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are responsive and useful when you are mitigating distraction. Driver aids. Adaptive cruise control comes while using optional eyesight package and yes it performs well. It doesn't slam around the brakes when you invest in cutoff, in addition, it doesn't follow much behind. The underpowered engine, though, makes maintaining on hills somewhat difficult. Lane keeping assist also is successful. Voice control. Voice controls are pretty straightforward, responsive and easily accessed by using a button within the steering wheel. You can control radio and connected phone commands via voice control, that is pretty common but effective.